Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to another formulate with me video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I make my styling cream for my brand. Um, I just want to let you guys know that this here that I'm making in the video is a big batch for my company, but the recipe formula and all the ingredients, everything is set for you to make a one size, um, 11 ounce size that is. So included here in the video are all the ingredients and its benefits. So make sure you guys go back and read about them if you really want to know why I'm adding them to the styling cream. But I hope you guys enjoy this type of video. Let me know if you guys like the new style of editing here. Make sure that you guys also follow me on Instagram. Make sure in the description box where you guys sign up for the mentorship waitlist. It is currently available. Pre-enrollment is going to start in November. So there you guys have it. The pre-enrollment for the Boss Queen series teaching guys how to start a hair care line from the ground up will pre-enrollment will start in November. So make sure you guys go down in the description box and check out all the links down below so you guys can join the free support group. So you guys can sign up for the wait list. So you guys can find me on Instagram, check out all the brands and figure out, you know, all the stuff that I use for running my business. All right, so into the video, as you guys can see, here are all the ingredients that are going to be used for creating the styling cream. I put on the screen the reasoning why I'm using them, the benefits, all of that, so that I could, you know, do my intro without boring you guys. But here are, are the ingredients. You guys can obviously supplement the oils that you want to use or the butters and um, anything like that. Here is the preservative, by the way, that I use. So many people always ask for what preservative I use when formulating my products. You do want to do your own research because every single formulation will use different preservatives. All right, you guys, so I did write up a little card for you so you guys can see the phases. We have our water phase, our oil phase, and our cool down phase. Feel free to pause the video, take a screenshot or whatever you need so you guys can have that for yourself later but first off starting with our oil phase because you need that to be you know melting while you prepare the water phase so here as you guys can see i am cutting up all the butters i didn't want to do it like the last um, video where i showed you guys my cocoa and coconut video where it took forever showing you guys me cutting up this butter so i decided to speed it up a little bit by the way, if you haven't seen that video, make sure you do check out my other Formulate With Me videos. I am going to try to put out one Formulate With Me video a week. That's my goal. I mean, I got so many goals, but it's just trying to do it. <laughs> but here I am cutting up all of the butters that we're going to need so that we can melt these down and use them later to mix with our aloe vera juice. And feel free to get creative with your own formula by using different butters. There's so many butters out there that you can use. And so if you don't like using shea or using cocoa or using mango butter, you can substitute and use different type of butters to, you know, customize your own styling cream. All right, so now that we have all the butters in there, we are going to add our BTMS, which is an emulsifying wax. So if you don't know, most of you should, you cannot mix oil and water. Oil and water do not mix. So you need some sort of emulsifier. And so I am using BTMS. You can do your research. There's tons of other emulsifiers. There's like BTMS 25, there's BTMS 50. So just do your research on the type of emulsifier that you wanna use, but you will need something that will help the oils and the liquid come together and stay together so that you get that creamy texture and not just like, you know, having your oils or your water be separating. So make sure you do have an emulsifying wax. After that, you are gonna want to add it to a double broiler so that you can melt down all of the butters without actually burning the butter. Now to our water phase, we are going to prepare the water phase. So I'm not actually using water in this 
formula. I am just using pure aloe vera juice, but you could use water. You could use water and aloe vera juice, but you would just need to fix the formula accordingly. But for me, I want the maximum benefit from the aloe vera. So I am just using aloe vera juice. And on top of this, I actually highly recommend using a real aloe vera leaf. You can, you know, cut the aloe vera leaf and blend the gel to make the juice, but it was just, you know, it's just too much work for making a big batch. So I just use the aloe vera juice. Then you want to add it to the double boiler as well, because you want both of these, the oils and the aloe vera juice to be at the same temperature so that you can mix it together. Now to prepare the rest of the oil phase, these are my carrier oils. So this is like the sweet almond oil, the olive oil. We are going to be mix we are going to be mixing it here together in this beaker. And I actually forgot to show you guys on the video because I forgot to add it to the other butters, but I actually added the coconut oil into the butters to be heated up and melted down. So that's why you don't see me adding it. But you want to add the carrier oils into a separate, you know, dish so that it doesn't melt down too much and you don't lose those benefits from these oils so we will add this later to our formula so that we can keep these benefits at its maximum Now, as you can see, because we added the glycerin, we need to mix it up a little bit. I like adding the glycerin into the oil phase because it's just easier to mix and it doesn't get like stuck to the glass or anything. I was going to add it to the aloe vera juice, but it just doesn't mix that well. Um, but you could try adding it to the aloe vera juice and see if that works. It doesn't really matter because later we're going to add the, the, these oils to the aloe vera juice. But just for mixing purposes, I added it to the oil. Now for our preservative, I'm just measuring it out. Like I told you, I was using Optifin. You guys can do more research on the type of preservatives that you're using. But since I have so many people reaching out to me about preservatives, what you wanna do is make sure each preservative is acceptable and sustainable in different liquids. So for example, Optifin, you can use for you know water, liquid, oil type of formulas, but there are other type of preservatives that you can use that's only used in water so water soluble preservatives and this also goes to making cosmetics because you will use different cosmetics i mean different preservatives for making cosmetics because you know those products are going onto your face and your skin so you just really want to make sure you know all of the preservatives what they do what they're soluble in so then you can use the correct one but don't stress too much about preservatives just learn them and then learn what they're soluble in and then practice with them so here I am, I'm now adding the all the carrier oils into the aloe vera juice. I already turned off the heat here um, because it's already heated up. As you can see, the oils, the butters have melted down. You really just wanna make sure the BTMS is melted. That's the most important thing because you don't wanna have chunks and whatnot. So here I am, I'm showing you guys the final, um, I guess, deal here with the oils melted down. I did check the temperature to make sure that the aloe vera juice and the oils are at the same temperature and they were or close to it you do want to make sure they're the same temperature so when you mix them that they you know they will emulsify so here i am i'm just mixing up all the oils that we just added with the aloe vera juice one thing i want to tell you i failed so many times on this recipe because i would always let the butters and the btms cool down as well as aloe vera juice because i would never heat up the aloe vera juice and so it wouldn't work the formulation would always break and so now that i do it where it's hot where both of the aloe vera juice and the butters are hot like literally i just like you can see the butters are still in the pan but the the temperature whatever the oven is off but this is the way so that the btms will not solidify btms solidifies so so fast so that's why i kept it like this i don't recommend it but you know, we're working in a house kitchen. We're not in the, you know, our factory yet. So we got to do what we got to do. So now you just want to pour about half of the aloe vera juice into the butter mixture with the BTMS and start to mix that a little bit. 
And then once you see that it's starting to mix up a little bit, you're going to add the rest of it and then we will be done. Then all we will need to do is put it into the freezer for if you are making a small batch, like I told you guys, you want to put it in at five minute increments, put this into the freezer for five minutes, take it out, mix it and continue to do that for about five times until you see the desired consistency. And I'm just mixing it one last time before I actually put it in the freezer just to make sure everything is mixed up correctly. All the butters, the bitumes, all the liquids, everything is mixed up perfectly. All right, and so this is the first look after I took it out after 20 minutes. So as you can see, it's not as liquidy. It's starting to get a little bit creamy, but after you start to mix it up a little bit, it still is watery. So I did have to put it back into the freezer a couple more times. And then you can see, like I kind of sped it up for you guys to see the difference, but here it is almost close to the end. This was like probably the fourth time. I think I put it in one more time after this, but as you can see, the consistency does change over time. Every, you know, five minutes, but in my case, 20 to 30 minutes, the consistency would change dramatically and it would start to get more creamy. So you just want to do this and mix and emulsify until you get that desired consistency. Just look at how creamy that is like, but it's not there yet. You see, it's too, too much. So I did end up putting it in the freezer for another 20 minutes before actually, you know, finishing up and adding the rest of our cool down product. And you can kind of see me here. I am checking the temperature to make sure that it is ready for me to add our Optifin. You do want to make sure that when you are adding your preservative that you add it in at the right time. That wasn't also a mistake that I made and the reason why I wasn't mixing and emulsifying when my liquids were hot is because of the preservative. This preservative can only be added at a certain temperature or below it. So each preservative is different and you want to know when, which phase it needs to be added to, if it needs to be added to when it's hot, if it needs to be added when it's cool or cold. But with Optifin, it does need to be added at a cooler temperature. And all right, so here is the final look at our cream. This is the last time I took it out of the freezer. It still looks very creamy. Now I'm adding in the preservative here, and I will also add in the essential oils for the cool down phase, but you just wanna mix it up and make sure that you know everything gets mixed in there correctly so that it is preserved and mixed good but it looks so good it came out so great i'm so proud of me, like myself it took me literally probably 10 tries before i could get this right so if you're out there trying to formulate and like scared or you're just not getting it know that it's not going to be easy especially if you were doing it by yourself and learning it by yourself but you just got to keep going you got to keep practicing getting into the lab or your kitchen and you know practice because practice makes perfect or if not perfect it gets you close to it so like i said it took me 10 tries to finally feel happy with my product and i probably you know will keep trying to perfect this as i create new products so don't get discouraged if you fail like 10 times and waste money on products because or ingredients because that's normal you know especially if you're not paying for a formula or you don't have any chemistry background or you don't know what the heck you're doing like i was when i first started but literally i just Think of it like cooking and making fun, you know, like it's fun and it definitely helps the, the, the situation out more when I get stressed when I didn't get the formula right. And we're all done here. So now I'm just going to put it in my little machine, pack it up and add the labels to it. Here I am showing you guys me using it with cream. I will definitely be doing a review soon about this machine after I use it on a couple more different type of products to give you guys the full review with using it in different type of liquids and creams. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you guys liked it and you guys liked seeing this type of editing for how I make my leave it, my styling cream. If you guys did, please make sure you guys like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos teaching you guys how to start your own hair care line. And make sure you guys sign up for the mentorship waitlist so you guys are notified when it goes live so you guys can sign up to learn how 
to be a boss queen and start your own hair care line. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>